Who wouldn't have their day made by this envelope in the mailbox? Hey, it's Kara. Welcome to my Take at the Lake. Isn't this fabulous? This is original art by the wonderful Amy at Doki Doki Forest. Look at that face. I just absolutely love this. And it's filled with goodies, of course. Happy mail from happy people. Gotta love it. I must confess, I've already opened this. I didn't open the goodie pack, but I saw this and immediately went to perusing. In fact, I think I've already cut a couple of things out of here. <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute, but let's go through this together. It says, hi, Care, here are some extra magazines I found at the library and a few goodies. Hope you enjoy. Love and hugs to you and Bitsy. Love, Amy and Sophia. And the little sweet bear, rainbows, little penguin washi. And on the back, just a, she has the best, I've not, of all the washi tapes she has sent me and used on her channel, I've never seen the same one twice. <laughs> She's got a lot of washi tape. Cute, I love all the bright colors. And then some beastlies. Look how cute he is. More Beastlies. A little Boston. Lots of teeny tiny little paw prints. A sleeping Corgi. Just love it. And some pretty Doves of Peace. White Doves of Peace, I say questioningly. Because the dark side of me is like, I don't know. I've never seen those. <laughs> That's not true. I have seen Doves of Peace before. All right, I had this open once, but it took some mental, mental work. There we go. So all these washies that she has in here, I can take off of here and use. That is the beauty, beautiful part of washi tape. Look at, look at his little spotted legs. <laughs> beautiful Boston. What the yuck. <laughs> I heard somebody, I can't remember who said it, was a crafter and they they dropped something and it went in the paint. And I think later it occurred to me, she said, oh, what a klutz. But I heard her say, oh, what the klutz. And I thought, oh, that's one I'm going to have to steal. I also love what the yuck. I threw the F-bomb around as if I have been a sailor on the boats my whole life. I grew up around guys. All the men in my family were sailors. My grandma owned a bar, for, you know. It's just a thing here. The Daily Bitch. She had a calendar. A Daily Bitch calendar. And I just think, I must find one. Where where can I find one? I'll have to ask Dr. Amazon later. It's from Sellers Publishing, Inc. Makefun.com. I will go there directly. But it has all these wonderful sort of pinup pretties. Obviously, Beastly's as well. I don't watch the news because I don't want my dog to see all the evil in the world. That is no lie. I protect my dog from anything. Absolutely. I love that calendar. Dogs. Okay. Hoof everybody. Look at them all. This is my kind of house party. All dogs. Maybe one person. <laughs> is this a dog walker? Are those leashes? There's a hand. Lots of leashes. Maybe this is a dog walker. So fun. More from the Daily Bitch. I feel sorry for people who aren't smart enough to talk to their pets. That's no lie. Oh, up northy. Look at that. How fun. Nice postcard. Doggy spa. The question is, is this a manicure? Or a pedicure? <laughs> Darn fine question. Manny Petty. I think it's both, right? More from the Daily Bitch. It's not personal. I just avoid people in general. That's so true. Nothing personal. I'll just stay here in my bubble. Quiet on the set. And action. That guy that calls from the bullhorn with the clapper thing. That's hilarious. Oh, look at... So Pupper must have thrown his toy and that's where it landed? That's hilarious. Daily bitch, screw your extended warranty. How about you start making stuff that lasts? Oh my God, I need this calendar. If you've not seen it yet, I will link, if I can find it, John Panette, 
wonderful, brilliant comic from the 80s who has since passed away, sadly, who has a whole bit on extended warranty. What do I need an extended warranty for? If it's going to break, I'm not going to buy it. It's hilarious. I'll link that below for your laughing pleasure. Amy, thank you so much for including so many of these. I'm going to post them all over. Telling idiots to get lost is how I manage stress. <laughs> I tell them more than to get lost, if we're going to be honest about this. But she and I, we get along just fine. Oh, look at the beautiful crab. Crabby chic. Crabby art. It's a whole new, it's a, a whole new aesthetic. Oh, look how handsome. Just soaking up some sunshine on the deck or the dock we'll call it a dock I thought maybe there were dog recipes on the back but it includes wine so I think it's people recipes look at that snuggly beastly I wish I love anything as much as my dogs love barking at absolutely nothing I must confess I have trained my dogs they are not barkers unless there's someone at the door and then they bark and I say okay got it and then they would go lay down but it, as much as they love anything, as much as they love their toy, I'd love to love something as much as they love their bed, as much as they love the sunshine today and the fresh air tomorrow. They're, we could learn so much from them. So beautiful. Oh, a nice, I think maybe a brass crab. Happy, happy dog playing in the snow. Look at him kick up his heels. Giant smile. Oh, yeah. That's a happy boy. Uh, you're walking home. <laughs> I've bought the last, I don't know, three vehicles based on, can I fit my dog crates in the back? Do my dogs have enough room? So they would just go in their crate and I would just have to wash their bedding like I would any, any other time rather than detail my whole car. If you can't handle being insulted, don't ask my opinion. I am nothing if not honest. So if you ever get a compliment from me, you can be sure, 100% sure that it's genuine. I don't blow smoke up anybody's skirt. I can't do that. I, I can bullshit with the best of them if I need to, but I don't do small talk and I don't do, oh, brown nosing, we'll call it. Look at him. My friend Mary had one just like this named Oscar. Go figure. Oh, a little Pugalicious. He's wonderful. Look at these old cards. Edison. Ed, hmm. Teeny tiny. Can't read it. Maybe it's, what does that say at the top? Monte Carlo. Monte de la Costa. So maybe it's, I don't know, but look how old. Where did you, where do you find things like this? We just don't have anything anything like this at all around here people just hold on to their stuff we have an entire region of hoarders nobody gives up the goods anywhere another one looks very italian to me but what do i know oh this is paris look at the back so pretty saint francis river drummondville Quebec. Ooh, this one's got writing on it yay drummondville 1948 See you Monday, Nani, Nami, Normy, N O R M Y, maybe Normy to Bob Lens. Three cents, Canada. We have a Drummond Island right near us. I wonder if it's somewhere between Michigan and Canada and, and it has anything to do with Drummondville. I will have to go put that in a Google map and see where Drummondville is to see if we're near. Oh, boat song. Because of the lake, it's a Spanish melody. Look at how close those notes are. Wow, that's cool. Are these naturally aged or did you coffee dye them? They smell nice and old. I think it's natural. My guess would be that that's, that's pure original aging. Fisher's song, more lake stuff. Yes, please. How awesome. So, it looks like it came out of a little, a little songbook. Oh, a boat race? All kinds of 
lake related stuff happening here. Oh, and of course, here I missed water. Hello. So fun. <laughs> Noah's bed. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke when people ask, Where do you expect to be in five years? Here's my answer. And then beautiful magazines four legs and a tail mud season 2024 that must be spring right i wonder what they call summer and it's just filled with critter clip art critter stuff beautiful pictures i love this a wk9 tax return form wk9 it's hilarious your first name and initial last name pet's name and the further down you get income your pet's contribution to your household how cute is your pet on a scale of one to ten number of times your pet has protected you or your home from a real or imagined threat adjustments food estimated yearly cost of meals snacks and scraps eaten by your pet my pets don't eat scraps just saying it's not good for them. It's really not good for us. Most of our food isn't even good for us. <laughs> I would never feed it to my dogs. How many times did your pet throw up or have an accident in your house? Damages incurred. <laughs> Calculate your pet tax. Add up the numbers 3 and 17. And if 18 is more than 7, oh, it's, you can tell this is official from the IRS because it makes no sense. And there's a whole bunch of math. Warning, the penalty for falsifying information is cleaning up poop in the local pound for 300 hours a week. That is hilarious. Critter in a pool. I hate to say this, but they look like Siamese chicks. And the corgi's like, oh dear, what? <laughs> Puppers, paw prints. I mean, every single page in here has something to look at. This little kind of obese little pug story, so sad. Wonderful stuff on every single page. So the first thing I did, I dropped everything and went through this every single page. I love this magazine. Defenders, Winter Defenders, the magazine of Defenders of Wildlife, Winter 2023. Look how cute paws up like high five again gorgeous pictures in here look how sweet they are so sweet the just the awe and wonder of nature it's breathtaking Fun little polar family. Look at. And then some regular magazines. Real simple. Holy smokes. May, March of this year, brand new, December 2022. All kinds of good things for for our glue booking fun. I, I did not go through these yet. <laughs> I will certainly though, and I'm sure that they'll be. You want me to harvest them and send them back to you, Amy? Let me know. Or did you get doubles? Are these some that you already have, probably? And then we'll just send them to Jean. Start the whole thing up again. This was so fun. I appreciate that so much. It is, it is just fun to get happy mail, especially when it's sort of out of the blue. I didn't expect anything good. I expected, in fact, some really bad things. And those didn't come, but this was there. And it absolutely made my day. So again... It's not hard to make up a happy mail. I have some of these envelopes that I, that I, when I feel like I want to do something, I do fun sprays on envelopes. And I just pop a few things in here that a friend might like. They don't even have to be junk journalers. You know, my mom would like to get something like this in the mail once in a while rather than the bills. Right? It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be just a little envelope full of of something or just a little note this is hey you make a difference for me and i appreciate you and i just wanted to let you know that here's a flower i cut out of a magazine or here's a, a flower that i doodled and i thought you might like you have no idea how far that will go to make somebody's day just like gift giving it makes you feel 
every bit as good, sometimes better, to give the gift than to get the gift. Right? So, see what you can do. Can you fill up a, a little, um, you know, plus this is a win-win. Making these, you know, it's a win-win. Make sure you scrub off any of the salt so it doesn't jam up the, the post office machinery. Otherwise, our stamps are going to go up to a dollar before they, before we know it. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, the salt has sort of melded into the paper and it just glistens sort of like snow, but I can't seem to get it on camera. It's, it's ever so fine and it might be the super fine salt that I have in my, my kit, but how fun. These are fun sprays made with food coloring, by the way, I'll link that video below. Super, super easy. If you watched the other day, I made up all new food, uh, fun sprays with watercolor, not remembering that watercolor always dries back 20%. So I was expecting nice, vibrant colors. That's not what I got at all. I got very muted, soft colors, and I prefer this for these kinds of things. So I'm going to order some more of these bottles from Amazon for about five bucks. And they're two ounce plastic bottles with lid with uh, caps. I'm gonna order a pack of these and make another kit up uh, with the food coloring, which is just this. Just food coloring, plain Jane food coloring. That's what this is. So it's a win-win. You get to have some fun, creative play, and you get to make someone's day. Who'd not want to do that? Until we meet again. You have a lovely, lovely crafty day. Thank you again, Amy. I absolutely love everything in here. And we'll put it all to good use. Go love up those beastlies. Because that's what they're here for. Matic at the lake. Out for now.